Just watch this viral video of gushing water pouring through the gates, rushing down the massive spillway surface. It's an insane sight from the Garrison Dam Spillways, an earthfill embankment dam on the Missouri River in North Dakota. Or take a look at this. The water waves are slamming against the spillway gates, almost trying to escape over the top. It's absolutely mind-blowing. Now check out this guy at the Delwood Spillway, dealing with a gate completely buried in ice. How do you even open a spillway like that? Well, as soon as he cranks it open manually, the water just obliterates the snow, blasting its way out with incredible force and discharge. And then there's this massive spillway gate, weighed down with an entire load of debris. Watch closely as the debris flap opens, letting all the junk shoot out along with the water. Crazy, right? Can you even imagine how much trash we dump into our rivers? So why am I showing you all this wild footage? It's to help you understand just how critical spillways are for dams. Even more so, the gates that let water escape in a controlled manner. They're the unsung heroes, preventing floods and protecting communities downstream. This is I Am Civil Engineer, and you're watching an explainer video on different types of spillway gates. Now, from what we've seen so far, it's clear that spillway gates are these adjustable barriers that manage water flow in rivers, streams, or reservoirs. But here's the thing, how do they actually work? And why do we see so many types of gates, each with their own unique design and operation? To get those answers, stick around till the end of this video. I'm breaking down all the different types of gates so you'll know exactly why they're built the way they are. No matter the type, every spillway gate has one key job, to control the amount of water leaving the reservoir. They do this by adjusting the size of the opening between the gate and the reservoir. Simple, right? The smaller the opening, the less water flows out. And when the gates are shut, they act like a solid wall, holding back the full force of the water. You might not realize it, but we've already covered the basics, what a spillway gate is and its primary function. Now, let's get into the real meat of this video, the different types of spillway gates and their unique roles. Ready to dive in? Let's go. While looking at the broader perspective of gate operations, we can categorize the gates as gravity-based, hydraulic-based, and mechanical-based. And it's pretty clear that gravity-based works on the principle of gravity. It uses the weight of the gate to fall and be opened. It lets water escape the gate. The hydraulic-based uses hydraulic power to close and open. It has got two chambers, one that contains air and another that contains water. When the valve is closed, the air fills the water chamber, creating air bubbles pushing down the diaphragm. So, as the diaphragm is being forced to rise up, it tries to open the valve. But when the valve is open, the air escapes out of the water's chamber, causing the diaphragm's downward push to sop and closes the valve again. On the other hand, a mechanical base uses some sort of motor operations to move back and forth. When the gate is closed, the motor stops moving, and as the gate is open, the motor starts moving again. But mostly in the industry, we don't use this categorization. Rather, you might have heard terms like radial gate, flap gate, sluice gate, etc. So let's now discuss these one by one. Here is how a sluice gate looks. Well, these gates are a classic and versatile solution for managing water flow in dams and reservoirs. All these gates feature a hinged design that allows for precise control of water levels, making them ideal for a variety of applications. By lifting or lowering the gate, water can be released or retained with accuracy, ensuring optimal performance during both normal and flood conditions. Their durability and adaptability make them a common choice in modern water management systems. The next type of spillway gate is a slide gate. The slide gates offer a straightforward and efficient mechanism for water regulation. Using a simple sliding action, these gates require minimal equipment to operate, making them highly accessible and user-friendly. Unlike gates that rely on heavy lifting mechanisms, slide gates glide smoothly into position, providing reliable control over water flow with ease. Their simplicity 
coupled with robust construction, makes them a popular choice for small-scale water projects and irrigation systems. Crest gates are compact, bottom hinge structures designed for maximum efficiency in areas prone to ice buildup or floating debris. These gates operate by tilting upward or downward to regulate water flow, making them ideal for environments where debris passage is crucial. Their sleek and functional design ensures smooth operation while maintaining structural integrity, even under significant hydraulic pressures. Crest gates are a testament to smart engineering in challenging conditions. The next is radial gates, also sometimes referred to as tainter gates, are engineered for strength and efficiency. Their curved design evenly distributes water pressure, reducing the strain on gate components and allowing for easier operation. These gates are often used in large dams where fail-safe mechanisms and robust performance are critical. With their ability to manage immense water loads effortlessly, radial gates are a cornerstone of modern dam infrastructure. Bear trap gates are uniquely designed with overlapping hinged leaves that offer exceptional precision in flow control. This intricate design allows for smooth operation and excellent sealing capabilities, even under challenging conditions. These gates are commonly used in applications requiring meticulous water management such as locks and specialized water diversion projects. Their advanced design makes them a standout option for areas where precision and reliability are paramount. Now, here come the drum gates. Drum gates are hollow, floating structures hinged at the top of the dam, providing unparalleled control over water levels. By adjusting buoyancy, these gates can be raised or lowered with remarkable accuracy. Their innovative design ensures minimal energy consumption while delivering precise performance. Drum gates are particularly suited for reservoirs where maintaining exact water levels is essential for both safety and operational efficiency. The last on our list is the miter gate. Miter gates are predominantly used in canals and waterways where they excel at managing water flow and levels. These gates consist of two leaves that meet at an angle, forming a V-shape when closed. This design effectively distributes water pressure, ensuring durability and reliable performance. Miter gates are a staple in navigation systems, allowing for smooth transitions between varying water levels while ensuring safe passage for vessels. So, fellas, you see the spillway gates may not get the spotlight, but their role in managing water systems is nothing short of extraordinary. From regulating water flow to preventing natural disasters, they're engineering at its finest. If you enjoyed this dive into the world of spillway gates, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing insights into the wonders of engineering. See you in the next one.